everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm doing some more staining. I got quite a bit done yesterday. If you look over to your left, you can see I've got a couple of columns, uh, I'm sorry, not columns, the collar ties, all stained already here. Both of the rooms are completely done, and uh, I wanted to point out I've been using painter's tape um, uh, so that I'm just getting the collar tie and I'm keeping the stain off of the wood there. Uh, that said, stain is, uh, it's there's uh, more surface tension that will draw it into little cracks and things like that. So when I'm painting near the painter's tape here, I'm trying to use up the bulk of the paint I have on the collar tie, and then when it's a little bit drier, I get into the corners and kind of feather it in like that. I'll give you a demo of that right here. Um, and this is actually the last surface that I need to work on, is this area right here. Now there's going to be wall boards going up to here, and there's probably going to be like a little cap piece there or something like that. Uh, but certainly, this top here, you're going to see. Now, I mixed up the stain in this big five-gallon bucket here, and when I put the brush in, I'm just barely touching the tips to it. You don't want to have too much, especially if you're painting up, it's just going to all run down your arm. Stain is, uh, it's well, like I said, the, the surface tension, it'll just kind of run down things. It's not like goopy, sticky paint. So you want to be minimal when you're putting uh, stain on. So I'm just touching the tips in there. When I pick up the brush, I'm kind of rotating it so that it doesn't all start flowing down on one side, doesn't do drips. You notice I'm not running with a drop cloth today. I was using a drop cloth yesterday, but I never dripped on it, so I'm going commando today. All right, and as I put it on, I'm going with the grain of the wood here. I got most of the stain off, and, and what you see here, this is a result of just me touching the tips into the uh, uh, the stain bucket there. So you can see a little bit goes a real long way. Now that the brush is a little dried off, I'm going to kind of feather it up into that corner there. This board here, I don't have to worry about getting that one uh, stained on because it is uh, going to get covered up later. Alright, so I got the stain right up to there and then dragging it with the grain. You, know, you always want to go with the grain with things unless you want it to look terrible. Uh, because it will, you'll be matching your streaks from your painting with the natural lines in the wood anyway, so, uh, so it'll tend to kind of hide, hide those streaks. But for just getting the, the paint or the stain on, the streaks can go everywhere, and then when you're done, you just kind of wipe right across. So I'm nearly done with all this stuff. Uh, once I finish all this up, Josh is going to do kind of a final sanding of uh, you know whatever is left. We're not going to do any more sanding on these guys because then that would start wearing down the surface. Uh, but uh, he's going to do a final sanding and then we're going to start sealing all of this wood. The last step I want to show you that I'm doing on these is before they completely dry, I'm taking a rag and, and I, I would normally wait until I did the entire thing, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm taking the rag and brushing it across the surface, and that brings out a lot of this natural beauty in the grain right there, because I'm taking the excess off of what it easily wipes off of, and you see all these, this natural grain pattern so much better. So that's it. I'm going to finish up with this, and then I think we're probably going to be back to wall work. Overall, things are going well. It's just, you know, one day at a time. Every day we get a little bit closer. Oh, and look where you're standing on. You're over the, you're over the pit. We took some of the scaffolding platforms from outside, brought them in here, and that'll give us much easier access to work up over your head in all those areas. That's it. Thanks for watching.